Hey, my lovelies, it is me and I'm back. I'm back, I'm back with another installment to my wedding vlog series. This is actually more like a trash in the treasure, but it is for my wedding, so it really doesn't matter. I was at the Goodwill today and I happened to stumble across these amazing lamps. Okay, they're really not amazing yet, but by the time I'm done, they will be amazing. I'm going to do similar to what I did to some other lamps that I showed you. I will link this video back to that so you can remember what I did. It's raining out here, but I had to show you how amazing the these are for a fine. Now, normally I would not pay $24.99 for anything at the Goodwill, but today was an exception because I looked at these and I just couldn't pass them by. Now, I was on my way back, riding home on my bike, and I stopped in the furniture store because I just had to know. So I asked the furniture guy, what would you sell these for if these were in the store? And he said, in great condition, these would probably sell for about $69.99 to $79.99, just plain ceramic. Now, he said, depending on how fancy your lamp shade is, these would actually be more like $99 per lamp. So I thought, mm, and I got it for $24.99. I don't feel so bad. It was a good $50 investment. Remember for my very, very first ones that I tried to duplicate, I paid $120. They were $60 bucks each. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm doing good. So if you want to see what I'm going to do with these, stay tuned. It's coming up right now. not new to my channel then you probably remember this particular vase that I purchased at a flea market I got a set of two they were $60 each which meant I paid $120 I decided to make my own complimentary vases and came up with this one that you might also remember and there's also this one that we created from a heart-shaped vase that we got at Salvation Army in order to have this set right here which i still love and they came out awesome i was then inspired by this pedestal for 90 bucks and using two goodwill lamps i made these which is what brings me to the this lamp the set of two that i just got and we're going to do the same thing and create a pedestal so now let's talk supplies okay let's talk supplies really quickly i got two of these candle holder plates all of this came from Hobby Lobby. I got these pearl beads also. Now these are a little cheaper at Michael's, but they're also in a smaller little box. So I grabbed two of these. They're $17.99 as you can see, um, but I ended up uh, using my 40% off and then Derek also got one, so I was able to get the other 40% off. And then I decided to pick these up. I've never really used these gemstones for anything. Maybe they'll make their way into this project. Maybe they won't, but they were $5.99. I thought they were cute. And of course, you know, I always have my trusty bling wraps. So I'm going to choose which bling wrap I want to use for this project. Now, I'm not going to use any of the mirror tiles that I've used before because quite honestly, I'm just really tired of them. So I'm going to work with these supplies. I'm going to go ahead and spray paint my base. Now, because you've seen me do this project before, I'm just going to do some really quick clips showing you what I do, sped up, little music, and then we'll come back and show you the final product. All right, see you then. So to get started, we obviously have to take that lamp apart, which is what we're doing here. And when you do, sometimes you find lumps and bumps that you want to file down, which is what I'm doing with that metal file. And here you see me putting those pearls on one by one by one. Yep, using that tacky glue. I started to use E6000, but I'm so glad that I didn't because the E6000 allows you to spread, a, excuse me, the tacky glue allows you to spread a lot of it and put a lot of pearls down at once. And it goes by really fast, so it's not as intense as it looks. If, of course, you don't stop the 
look at it every five minutes, which is what I was doing, but I was able to get a lot of sections done. Now, I didn't like the stickers that came on that original plate, so I switched them out for my mirror tiles. And I decided to put a mirror on the bottom of that. Happened to have two from Hobby Lobby laying around there, $3.99. And I'm just gonna take that and attach it using my liquid nails just to cover that bottom because I'm nosy and there are other people that are nosy. I'm always inspecting something. And that just didn't sit well with me. Iron Grip is life. You cannot get it in the store. You have to get it online, but it holds magnificently. And I'm using that to attach that mirror plate to the top. And here's a history book just sitting on top just to make sure things stay in place and adhere appropriately. Here's my favorite part, the final look. And I really love how this came out. I'm so glad that I did not take those mirror tiles and cover the sides like I started to. One, because it's a little bit costly, but two, because I wanted something a little bit different. And I think the pearls really contribute to the Gatsby theme and they don't take away from the cohesive overall collection. And when I think about what the furniture guy told me, especially considering he actually had the original two vases that I bought that he was selling for $2.99, that gave me a lot of perspective. Y'all, when you see stuff like this, and you turn it out, you can make some serious money. I'm telling you, it's unique. Most people would say, ah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I'll just buy it. But you know what? It's nothing like the work of your hands and as blessed as they are shining through on your special day, your special day at your event, whatever that looks like. My son is just turning that around so you can actually see the whole thing. I absolutely love it. These are going to be amazing on top of those mirror pillars with the beautiful feathered and flower arrangement on top. If you see stuff like this in your thrift store, pick it up. Don't pass it by. Here is a shot of that with the other so that you can get some perspective here. I'm sorry that table's really small, so things are kind of crowded, but it does really look like a cohesive collection. Like I got it all from the same designer and technically I did because that designer is me. And so I hope you like this little tutorial. I hope that you'll be inspired to find your own design and don't keep me a secret. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Remember the work of your hands are blessed. So let Jesus have his way. Amen. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.